You know that every group of friends out there has one member that just kinda sticks out? She's just pretty enough to stand being around, and just ugly enough to make everyone else seem more attractive by comparison. She's quiet, and on those rare occasions when she does speak up, it's only to offer an opinion or suggestion that will be invariably shot down, unless it serves to support someone else in the group. If she's at all gifted, smart, athletic, creative, she doesn't show it, for fear of sticking out even more. She's just trying to be part of the group, whether anyone asked her to or not. For us, that girl was Amy Williams. She only really got into Alpha because of her sister, but she was so eager to be one of us. I don't think anyone in the history of UH has ever been hazed as viciously as Amy was. But she did make it through, so for better or worse, she was in. I can't think of anyone more unremarkable as a person. Her clothes were so bland, nothing but earth tones and the occasional black to spice things up. Her voice was quiet and soft. At least, that's how I remember it. To be honest, she talked so infrequently that sometimes I forget what her voice sounded like. She never smelled, either good or bad. Her health habits kept her from stinking, but she never wore the kind of perfume that wafts from one person to another. She never drank, or smoked, or did anything that might pass for normal behavior on a college campus, besides studying, maybe. Whenever there was a big party, she either stayed home, or, if it was hosted at our place, hid in the corner behind a cup of root beer. It's not as if I'd be the expert on such things, but I can't seem to recall ever seeing a guy ask her out. Not that she seemed to mind it, that is. If you ask me, a wallflower like that is only too happy to not be seen by any of the guys. Now, don't get me wrong or anything. We didn't dislike Amy, exactly. In fact, we were only too happy to have her around on many occasions. She was only too helpful in setting up any of the fundraisers or events that we organized. We could always count on her to be the designated driver, what with her not drinking at all. And if an RA ever came snooping around the sorority house, Amy was always perfectly willing to hold one or two pieces of contraband. Looking back on it, I think Amy might actually have been the one to suggest going to Village Creek State Park for spring break. It was senior year, so we wanted to do something a bit more intimate than the whole Miami thing. That and I think finals were starting to get to us. So a camping trip to a nearby state park sounded like the ideal plan. None of us were very experienced campers, but looking on the website it didn't look like we needed to be. There wasn't any, you know, rugged terrain or harsh climates or anything. Just peaceful forests by a free-flowing creek just north of Houston. A couple of young, handsome rangers helped us put up our tents. Once camp was all made up, we all headed down to the creek for some swimming in the warm springtime air. I think Amy was the only one wearing a one-piece. After that, we went for a bit of hiking on the trails, though that didn't last long. Even with bug spray, we were nearly eaten alive. All except Amy, that is, who was the only one all covered up in long sleeves and pants. And then for dinner, we roasted weenies by the campfire. Amy being a vegetarian and all didn't eat any of the hot dogs, but it's okay, she had brought some trail mix, so she was all set. After dinner, we just sat by the fire, reminiscing on the last four years of college. All the ups and downs, and all the laughable professors and tear-inducing assignments. We counted off the names of boys on our fingertips before turning our attention to who was left in the class of 2016 that was worth approaching. We did our best to avoid talking about life after college. That was a subject nobody wanted to think about while on break. At some point in the conversation, Amy must have left the circle to use the bathroom or something. I didn't notice her get up at first. The only reason I knew she'd gone at all was because she never came back to camp that night. 